Tuesday night cold, damp, uh, Tuesday night still heavy pitch um, and, and, a, and a really, really hard fought uh, three points and, and that's what we take, that's what we take away tonight. Maybe in season gone by we've let those nights pass us by too often but um, uh, that's what, three points and, and we move on to next game. Not quite a cagey affair and at 1-0, Ralston, their initial goal scorer, misses a good chance to double the lead and that was that was the point in the game where the screw started to turn for, for the club. Yeah, um, I, I wasn't happy. First off, now I thought it was poor, very poor. I thought the last 10 or 15 minutes we um, we took control of the game. The, the half-time team talk changed somewhat because we we get we go in at two-one up, and um, you know it's a bit more of a chat rather than a, a kind of a, stir, a stirring half-time as it were. Um, but uh, second half, I, I thought we were I thought we were you know far better than them, and, and on top of them, no, no disrespect. To, but they kept plugging away. We weren't clinical enough. We didn't kill them off, and. Um, you know, it's three one. That's a pretty cheap penalty, really. Chad, Chad's been, you know, superb since he's come on. He's got a bit sleepy on the winger there. He's come inside him, and it's a, it's a cheap penalty. And then it's a, it's a tense final three or four minutes. But the, the, the scoreline looks tighter, I think, than, than the game was. A word on Sam Agar. Obviously, he had the ankle injury recently, which uh, which sidelined him for a while. But his running in the channels tonight was, was sensational at times. Yeah, outstanding. And um, you know, Sam has, has, has got to realise that. Uh, for me, I mean, the, the, like, for the third goal. And it's the second game in a row he's, since that that, that, game, that goal has, has won us the game. The same with the, the, the Stafford Town. Uh, second goal where he's laid it off for Ryan Faddis. He's, that's as good as a goal for me. He gets very frustrated. He's very upset when he's not scoring. Uh, sets himself high standards and um, sees himself as an out-and-out goal scorer. And he's never really happy when he's not scoring. But uh, the agenda is three points for, for the club, three points for the team. And he's put in a great shift. He's, he's created the, the goal that's turned, uh, turned out to win the game. And um, so performing really well to start Steely, the goals will the goals will roll again and uh, really pleased with Sam and uh, you know he should uh, maybe stop beating himself up a little bit and, and, and appreciate the great job he's doing for the team like that. As you rightly say it, it was a pretty complete performance and the one thing that was missing was a goal but also a word on Sean Williams uh, again ran the channels and, and gave the defence a real torrid time. Yeah Sean outstanding same as uh, same as Sam really I don't, I don't measure our players in, in the goals really you know and, and right field included we don't um, we don't judge, judge them just on their goal output. You know, we score three fours regularly, and I don't, I don't mind if it's a centre half or a full back popping up with a goal. It's, it really makes no difference to me. We do have pretty good goal scorers at the club, and and uh, they'll, they'll both get on the goal trail again. Sean not had a lot of fortune this season to put a goal, but he's been fantastic. And uh, as a set forward, as a winger, as a centre midfielder, he's been he's been superb. And uh, you know, he's that's a great partnership, Sam and Sean. It causes havoc. Gives us good eight balls. We can play in short feet. We can go behind. We can run channels, um, and and it's you know it's, it's, it's looking a, it's looking a good blend. You know, in spite of who's scoring the goal. During the first half, it looked a, looked a really fabulous contest between Lee Thomas at left back, who has been one of the standout performers against Ralston, who was really impressive in that first forty-five that he played. Yeah, very good player. Um, and uh, you know, Lee, we always say I think Lee's Lee's best work is, is going forward. He's defending. Uh, he's, he's working on. He's listening to um, the information that we've that we're giving him, and he's, he's really working hard on that. He, uh, you know, he got caught the wrong side a few times and was maybe a little tentative about pinching the ball or, or, or sorting himself out positionally. Um, and the kid had a lot of pace. It was a. Uh, I've been watched an hour with Lee on the pitch. I'm still not sure. He's the quickest out of two of them. So it was a. It was, it was a good duel and uh, I think, I think you know, Lee, Lee's acquitted himself well defensively. All in all, a really solid three points and, and, and Hefe will provide a banana skin for those top four or five teams later yeah. in the season almost yeah, definitely. Def definitely and um, you know, Jamie Hawkins is, is going to do a good job in there. He's, um, you know, he's, he's someone that linked myself and Paul know and we knew it was going to be tough. He's going to get his recruitment rights at Hefe. There'll be a lot of loan players, got good contracts and they'll be a uh, tough to crack for, for a few sides I think. So. Uh, performance, no, six out of ten maximum, and uh, but I'm not, uh, I'm not, you know, upset about that really because because we've won the game during the week. Just an update on the likes of Luke Richards and Paul Sullivan. Yeah, Luke, um, Luke, Luke sustained what was took what turned out to be a really nasty injury in the in the game against Bromsgrove. He's, he, he's uh, damaged his knee and, and his calf muscle as well. Um, so that's just taking a little bit of time. It's, it's getting better, but uh, hopefully we'll see him before the end of the month. Uh, Paul Sullivan, we're waiting for a scan tool and uh, that could very well be an operation. I think in, in, in all likelihood it would be an operation. Uh, Mitchell is getting closer all the time. Yeah, the World Cancer Day um, activities that have been staged by the club, you're very much the main catalyst for that. 
uh, very much the uh, the engine room, so to speak, in terms of driving that. Uh, your thoughts on on the last week, and a couple of weeks in the club? Uh, it's been heavy, um, you know, emotionally draining. Uh, it's, it's took its toll a little bit on the dressing room, to be honest. It, has, it certainly has myself, you know, starting from starting from the Buckland game, really. Uh, but uh, it's been great the way the club's come together. A lot of effort gone into making it a real success yeah. and, and driving it in other directions as well as as well as the strip. And uh, really, really good, really positive. And I think the final, we call the closing day for it, has moved to the Utah at home game now. So we'll uh, we'll cap it off there with a, a big raffle. We'll we'll get the strips out again one final time and and uh, see, see what we can pull in and, um, and and perhaps do it as an annual thing. I'm not sure now whether we'll do it again next year. But uh, fantastic.